Are you considering pursuing the CFA designation, but wondering if it's worth it? I'm Ivan, a CFA charter holder and chief operating officer at 365 Financial Analyst. I'm also someone who once sat exactly where you are now. I'm here to share with you how I decided to pursue the CFA designation and what factors you must consider when determining if this is the right choice for you. Something I wish someone had done for me back in the day. But first, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful career content. And stay until the end to access valuable resources. All right, first, let's start with why I decided to pursue the CFA. Since graduating with a master's degree in financial economics from Erasmus University, Rotterdam, I felt my education in finance was not yet complete. Don't get me wrong, my program was top-notch, but I craved more profound knowledge in accounting, valuation, and portfolio management. The CFA program offered a comprehensive curriculum covering these topics, presenting a broader perspective and addressing gaps often found in traditional finance or accounting degrees. This wide-ranging approach made it an invaluable addition to my education. All right, so, is the CFA worth it? Truly, that's the same question I asked myself 15 years ago when I considered enrolling to CFA Level 1. I won't give you a direct answer, but I'll cover the crucial factors to help you make this critical decision yourself. I'll start with the time and effort required to pass the exams. The debate about whether CFA is worth it often centers on the upfront effort required and the uncertain return on investment. I'll put it this way. The CFA exams take significant time and effort. At the same time, there's no guarantee of success. It's not just about money. Becoming a CFA charter holder costs $3,000 to $8,000, depending on study materials, exam registration timing, and retakes. But the real expense lies in the hours you must put in to pass the CFA exams. You must commit more than 1,000 hours over four years. If you can't commit to this, the CFA program may not be for you. But that's perfectly okay because it's better to recognize this early on rather than halfway through the process. Aside from the upfront time and effort, there are very few downsides to being a CFA charter holder. The knowledge and skills you acquire can significantly benefit your career. All right. The next factor to consider is your career goals. These play a crucial role in determining whether the CFA is worth it. Approximately half of the candidates register for the CFA exams to advance their careers. It's important to understand that while the CFA charter can aid your career, it isn't a guaranteed path to success. You are the key to your success, and the CFA charter is just one piece of the puzzle. Most research shows that those who advance in their careers do so through passion, dedication, and determination. So, you should continue to work hard after passing the exams and strategically target roles where the CFA designation is respected. Regarding recognition, the CFA designation is a vital signaling tool and a quality indicator. Its credibility and respect, however, are notably recognized and appreciated within specific subsets of the finance sector. For instance, the CFA Charter is highly valued in asset management, equity research, investment strategy, and the buy side sector. While it may not be recognized equally in all areas of finance, it remains a significant credential in these specialized fields. For example, as a student, you can leverage the CFA program to secure internships or entry-level positions to gain the necessary experience. For professionals, applying for roles where the charter is valued can lead to success with 22% of CFA charter holders employed as portfolio managers. Determining post-CFA earnings can be challenging. Mid-level analysts typically see a 15-20% to 20 salary increase upon earning the CFA designation. More experienced analysts and managers often experience even larger increases. The CFA designation is particularly valuable for senior roles such as risk managers, investment managers, and portfolio managers. But there are also immediate financial benefits to progressing through the CFA exams, even before becoming a charter holder. According to latest analysis of CFA salary data, in 2022, candidates who passed Level 1 saw a 28% increase in total compensation, up from 16% in 2021, indicating an earlier paycheck for CFA progression. 
CFA candidates who passed Level 2 saw a 34% increase in total compensation. Those who passed Level 3, or R charter holders, earned 53% more than those yet to pass Level 1. Before we wrap up, let's answer two crucial questions when deciding whether to pursue the CFA program. Can the CFA help people switch careers or land a new job? This is a common question, with half the CFA candidates seeking to change job functions. In short, the CFA charter alone won't change your career, but it becomes powerful when combined with solid networking and diligent job hunting. No qualification guarantees a job. Networking and interviewing skills are still crucial. These soft skills are essential for convincing potential employers that you are the right fit. Speaking of the future, here's another pressing question many are curious about. Will AI replace the need for CFA charter holders? And the answer is not likely. While AI language models like ChatGPT have impressive capabilities, they cannot replace the tasks performed by CFA charter holders. Becoming a CFA charter holder requires practical, on-the-job experience that AI cannot replicate. AI struggles with nuanced, experience-based tasks and lacks the critical thinking and real-world expertise essential for advanced financial analysis. Therefore, the human element in financial decision-making and analysis remains indispensable and irreplaceable by AI. And there you have it. We've covered the key factors to consider when deciding if the CFA Charter is right for you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and activate notifications. We'll continue sharing career tips to help you land your dream job. And if you wish to get job ready for a successful career in finance, don't miss the opportunity to subscribe to the 365 Financial Analyst platform. Stay tuned for more insights into business and finance.